Today I'm having a look at the top of the line when it comes to the new Strider Platinum Series power supplies. This is the 750 watt ST75F PT. And what's so incredible about these series of power supplies is the fact, well, they're platinum of course, but they're completely modular and they are very, very small. Depth wise, they're 140 millimeters in comparison to some other power supplies that are on the market in this particular category. You know, they're like 150 or 160, even up to 180. So that is crucial, especially if you want to have an amazing power supply in a small case. And of course, this is going to fit just about every single ATX case that is on the planet, even these small form factor cases. Included is a specifications manual, a user's manual, power cord, the modular leads, and in this bag they include four Velcro ties, four standard plastic ties, and eight screws, which are all black. They have four standard screws and four thumb screws. And the power supply, which is in this bubble wrap bag. Note that the power supply will not spin during operation until certain load or temperature is reached. Of course, remove that and also remove this piece of protective plastic on their logo. Now the other two power supplies in the Strider Platinum series is the ST55FPT, which is a 550 watt model, and the ST65FPT, which is a 650 watt model, so you have some choices. Now their main focus with these power supplies really is probably to enthusiasts, you know, people who want super quality power, and in this case, you're getting that in a tiny package, and as I've already mentioned, you can fit this in just about any case case that's on the planet, certainly small form factor cases. And the great thing about a power supply that isn't very long, in some particular situations, like for example, even in mid or full tower cases, at the bottom of the case, either there's a fan or fans installed down there already, but you can install, or there's an option to install a fan at the bottom. And sometimes you can't do that if the power supply is too long. So it does give you that flexibility. Okay, so this is the part of the video review where I talk about where wattage comes from. It's magical. Well, actually it's not. It's all about rails. And rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails. You've got the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 120 watts and the 12 volt is 750 watts. And that is essentially how the wattage for this power supply is determined. You simply can't get enough information about rails, so let's continue on the same topic. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards, and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It is also pretty darn important to know the peak amps on each rail. And as you can see from the sticker on the power supply here, and let's zoom in so you can see See, the plus 3.3 volt and the plus 5 volt rails are both 22 amps each and there's a really solid single plus 12 volt rail and that's 62.5 amps and oh the power density is 415 watts per liter now i can't say this enough don't go out there and spend money on a cheapo power supply spend a few extra bucks and get a brand name power supply this is literally one of the most important components in your computer system. With that being said, let's go through the important things you should be looking for when selecting a power supply. The first, of course, is wattage. You need to determine how much wattage you are going to require, not your buddy, for the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system. Select the power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are going completely insane and building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line, multiple video cards set up with lots of other hardware, select the power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficiency, and this power supply's efficiency is 89 to 92% 
at 20% to 100% loading. Oh, it also has a plus or minus 3% regulation and low ripple and noise performance for high stability. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficiency and this power supply's efficiency is between 89 to 92% at 20% to 100% loading. So that is obviously not a problem as well. Plus or minus 3% regulation and low ripple and noise performance for high stability. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage, and other protections. And thankfully, this power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC or active power factor correction assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. It basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, AD+, NVIDIA SLI, and AMD Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. Now, this power supply meets the AD+, plus platinum certification. Six, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors because generally speaking, it ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. Now, with that being said, this power supply does use Japanese capacitors on the primary side, but the secondary capacitor as well, it's a mix of Japanese and Taiwanese capacitors depending upon the power supply at the time of production. So it's possible that, well, you could receive a platinum power supply that could have all Japanese capacitors or a mix. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. And like this one, consider a power supply, well, forget about considering one, get one that has a modular design because it really reduces all that cable mess inside of your case and it just looks simply awesome. As well, it's very important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty. Now this power supply comes with a three year warranty. And I personally believe that's a little bit limited for a platinum product. They could have probably offered a five year warranty with this item. I think modular power supplies just look simply awesome. When they're not connected, it's bizarre actually because you look at them going, wow, is this a power supply? There's no hardwired leads coming out of it or anything like that. But uh, yeah, they look kind of cool. And this one looks awesome. You've got a nice fan grill, their logo here as well, lead free paint. It's black. Of course, the housing is steel and a wonderful, quiet, 120 millimeter fan. This thing is around 28 decibels. That's it at maximum spin. And there's lots and lots of ventilation holes. So this power supply should remain cool in almost any environment. And thankfully it comes with a power switch. And here's where the power cord gets connected. I think we've established the fact that this power supply is 100% modular, right? Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's go on to these gorgeous flat, flexible modular leads. I know some of you are probably sick of me saying this, but I love them. And the reason is you can route them anywhere and they bend so, so easily. And let's take a look at where all of these flat, flexible, sexy modular leads get attached. They have a sticker here at the back, so it really takes the guesswork out of connecting them. So what's not to like about this power supply? Well, really nothing except for the cost. And you'd expect that since it is a platinum power supply and it's 750 watts, comes in a small package, 100% modular. It has a quiet 120 millimeter fan and the quality of power is fan. Fantastic. Now, one thing that I'm hoping for is that Silverstone will release higher wattage power supplies in this particular series. But overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.